Hello everyone, it's Craig from Gilson's. In this video, we're gonna do a unboxing. <laughs> Shall I hold it the right way around? Three to all the older, uh, older, the older of other units. <laughs> Hello everyone, it's Craig from Gilson's. In this video, we're gonna take a look at a new arrival from Hick Micro, Condor CQ35L 2.0. We're gonna do a very quick unboxing of it, and then we're gonna have a look at it against the old unit, compare a couple of features, and check out what's new in this one. Okay, so let's take a look inside what comes with the new CQ35L 2.0 from Hick Micro. Nice presentation box as always. Quick starter guide and some small information leaflets, USB-C type charger, shoulder strap for the bag which we'll have a look at in a second, and a neck strap, underneath, two batteries, a lint cloth cleaning the lens, and a double battery charger, always handy. The unit itself now comes in the green pouch, which is really handy. It's what we've all been waiting for for a while. Where do we put it in our pocket, in our kangaroo pouch? It's been a nightmare. So very neat sized pouch, slides in and out very easily. Really excited they've now finally put that in. And then obviously the unit itself, which we'll dive into now. Okay everyone, so let's take a look at the spec of this particular unit. Boasting now a sub-15 net D rating, 640 by 512 thermal sensor for a really crisp image. 35mm lens with a 1.9 to 15.2 magnification and an 1800m detection. Inbuilt laser rangefinder as seen on all previous Condor models, capable of 1000 meters. The new battery is a 21700, so it is different to previous models. It is a bigger battery which goes inside, capable of a six and a half hour runtime. Auto shut off. Take the unit away from your eye, it will turn the screen off. So if you've got it around your neck on a harness, you don't get that glare coming back up at you, which could be quite annoying at pitch black in the pitch black. Lift it back up, it will turn straight on immediately. Power up time, three seconds, if that's very, very quick. Brand new features, shutterless technology. Finally, we've all been waiting for this for quite some time. It's really frustrating when your screen would freeze. Three, two, one, and then off we go again. Gone are those days. It will just continue to roll and you'll never notice it again. That is getting rolled out in the handheld monoculars and the scopes, obviously more important in the scopes as you'll all agree. That's fantastic, that's brilliant. Two new colour palettes, red and green monochrome, which I think will be favoured by a lot of people. Um, the videos that you'll see online of people posting and stuff, that I think they will all be uh, red or green monochrome. I think people will really take to that. Let's take a look now at the physical body itself against the previous model and see what's different. So here we have the previous model versus the 2.0. So we're just going to have a look at a couple of features which are different on the physical body of the units. Starting at the back, uh, the eye cup is much larger on the newer one. And the diopter ring as well, slightly larger. So easier to turn, you don't feel like you're pinching as much. The battery compartment itself as well has a new quick tab that you can pull down lock in and release with this ruffled feel. It's much larger so you can actually grip it and pull it off. Sometimes you felt when you were trying to get this out you were nipping quite hard to pull out. So it could be a little bit frustrating. The rubber grips on the new one has now extended higher up the unit which encompasses the power button which has also been moved. So that's nice soft rubber, lots more rubber actually so it's a bit more grippy feel as opposed to just underneath on the previous model. On the top, you can see main features, the focus wheel on the previous model at the front is now up on top at the rear of the unit, 
for single hand use operation so really really handy there you're not having to use two hands to stretch forward and focus in anymore which is really good the buttons themselves on the top much larger and much more prominent as opposed to the flat line so sometimes you would be out in the dark you're not quite sure what button you're pressing now you, you can't press the power button it's on the side uh, menu uh, up and down buttons and zoom in and out and obviously you focus on the back there which is brilliant the front eye cup as well finally so you do have a larger front eye cup and cover which snaps on a lot easier and it's a lot stronger this one seems to sometimes just pop off quite easily that one takes a little bit more to get off and get going which is handy the magnet remains in the hand strap which is always a nice feature so it wasn't dangling and swinging and swaying so I think you've all got to agree that Hick have done an amazing job with the upgrades on this unit there is another Condor in the family, the 15mm lens, which will give you more magnification, further detection range. But what it does do to achieve that is a narrower field of view. This 35mm is less a mag, more field of view, which is a unit I prefer. Uh, being a woodland stalker, doing a lot of my shooting in woodlands, I do prefer that wider field of view for scanning. Key takeaway though, single hand operation. Now that they've moved the focus ring, onto the top of the unit, single hand operation, that's amazing. So I was balancing my shooting sticks against my body and then trying to focus in with this hand where now no need to, everything is just done in one hand, even the power button, absolutely amazing. I really, really do like this unit. It is a fantastic upgrade, they've done a brilliant job. They are available now, we've got them in store, so check them out. Mm -hmm.